He said Dr. Clues will be remembered for many facets of his complex personality. Dr. Alexander Whitehill Clues reads from a biography of his grandfather he's writing, a biography he is eager and determined to complete as soon as possible. A man of science for all seasons. Alec Clues comes from a long line of New Englanders and doctors. His father was a surgeon and a sailor, his grandfather a biochemist who helped in the development and distribution of insulin. When he was setting up this thing with the university... Healing others is in his DNA, although he didn't realize that early in his career. I said I was going to do nothing but science, but as I got into surgery and then into vascular surgery, I realized I did like the patient care and I simply liked taking care of people one by one. Over the years, his reputation steadily grew. His specialty was developing methods to treat a recurring problem following surgery on veins and arteries. Often those operations require stents to link the undamaged blood vessels together. But too often, the repair would not heal properly and the patient would face additional surgery. The condition is called stenosis and it has always frustrated Alec Clues. One in three of those patients is going to get in trouble with this injury response of excessive scarring and re-narrowing of the reconstruction. And you can imagine how uh, distressing that is for both the patient and the physician if within one year of a reconstruction, you're back to square one. He tackled the problem, and his research has led to many advances, such as applying medicine to the stents to reduce the incidence of stenosis. You can't eliminate it, but you can reduce it and regulate it, and that was the goal. A titan. Yeah, within the field of vascular surgery, Alec Clues is a titan. His influence uh, goes far beyond the Department of Surgery, far beyond the Division of Vascular Surgery, into the school and into the community where we live. It is now the go-to place for the Northwest United States. You come to the UW if you want the best vascular surgery. So I'm really enthusiastic about the future for this division because it's got dynamite people with smart ideas and it's using uh, clever uh, thinking about combining ideas and working at the interface. But the shades are now slowly being drawn on this remarkable life in the arts and medicine. He is in the twilight of his career and uh, is now facing his biggest challenge. After his long service, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of people that he has influenced. Dr. Alexander Clues is battling brain cancer. It's undergoing treatment. We're optimistic, we're hoping for success, but you never know. And you have to remember Alex a Yankee, he's a New Englander, yeah, um, you know, you, you persevere. He's very, very um, realistic, I would say, about it, um, but also wants to get some things completed that he has wanted to do for a long time. A man of science for all seasons, in fact that was the title of his, my father's lecture on the subject at Roswell Park Institute including completing the biography of his grandfather of insulin fame, George H. A. Clues, Sr., and continuing his research in the advancement of genetics to aid vascular surgery patients. I would not like to die with a, a, a mind full of regrets. I would like to be able to deal with the issues that are still pressing me uh, in real time and do them before that moment comes. I think he has turned this into what else can I do so long as I am able to do things to continue to help humankind. Because he considers himself a medical investigator, that's how he refers to his students. So I'm very proud of the number of young uh, investigators I've trained over, my, over a long period of time and that they, they in turn have been successful. Meantime, between treatments, he treasures his wife and grandchildren. We have three now, three girls, and it, it's uh, really a joy of my life. Despite all his achievements and awards too numerous to mention, Dr. Alexander Whitehill Clues remains a modest man. Ben might want to comment on what he thinks uh, whatever I've done is worthwhile. <laughs> no, I think, uh, well, I... Dr. Ben Starnes, a colleague, now a close friend as well, considers his answer carefully. I think there's one word that, that can describe Alec Clues, and that's selfless. <laughs> Dr. Alec Clues 
meets all the criteria for the Society for Vascular Surgery Lifetime Achievement Award. He has made numerous contributions to SVS and other vascular societies that have influenced standards and professional practice. He has made grand contributions to vascular education, basic science, and clinical research. Dr. Clues has been a productive clinical surgeon and has made contributions that elevate the international stature of the specialty of vascular surgery. We'd now like to take you to the home of Dr. Clues, where he will be honored with the SVS Lifetime Achievement Award. Good morning. I am Carlos Pellegrini, the chair of the University of Washington's Department of Surgery, and I'd like to welcome you today to this uh, great celebration. We're gathered here at the home of Dr. Alec Clues and his wife, Dr. Susan Deadwiller, uh, with Dr. Ben Starnes, the chief of vascular surgery at the University of Washington, and Dr. Peter Lawrence, the president of the Society of Vascular Surgery, for this great moment of celebration. Before us, uh, we have six leather-bound volumes containing 237 publications over a 45-year period of time. A true lifetime of work in vascular surgery biology and vascular surgery research. This work has set the foundation for the future of our vascular surgery uh, research scientists. It's a great honor and privilege to present the SVS Lifetime Achievement Award this year to Dr. Alexander Clues. Alex, your impact on the specialty of vascular surgery will continue through the generations of vascular surgeons that you have trained and mentored in vascular and basic research and who will carry on the legacy of discovery for generations yet to come. This is heavy. Congratulations on an extremely well-earned honor. Thank you, Peter. I'm absolutely touched by this award. It uh, represents something that at a certain time, unachievable. Okay, so we put this here. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of this very unique academic vascular surgeon's career.